Hello? Hello? Hi my rose buds, welcome back to the Not Rose channel. I just want to say I am so sorry. I have not been on my YouTube channel in literally months. A lot of things were happening. I am pretty active on all the other platforms like Instagram and TikTok, but YouTube. I just haven't been on for a really long time and I'm so, so sorry. I miss you all so much. I've been wanting to do a tutorial, but you know, tutorials take kind of a long time. So I figured what is the easy way for me to come back and say hi on my YouTube channel without having to do such an extensive video and I figured continuing my closet tour would be the best route and you all voted on my Instagram story to do my quirky knit cardigan so that is what I'm going to be showing you all today I have about over 20 of them for those that do not know I have this weird obsession over these vintage knitted cardigans I do not know why they're just so cute to me and I started a, a collection and now I have kind of a lot of them <laughs> a lot. We're gonna start with the one that actually started my collection. And that is my Easter Bunny one. What do we want to call these? Because I don't want to call them grandma cardigans because I don't know if that's offensive to grandmas, even though I'm not even being offensive. I love these sweaters. So I'm not quite sure what I should call these. We're just gonna call these knitted cardigans. <laughs> I call it my Easter Bunny cardigan because it has a bunch of bunnies everywhere, as you can see. It has flowers and it's just so cute. I love the color scheme that's going on and on the back it has two bunnies and it's so adorable the buttons on the cardigan are flowers hello so cute this is from the brand storybook knits and this is actually the brand that most of my cardigans are from one of my biggest questions that i get when i am showing off my cardigans is where i buy them i either thrift them at like an actual thrift store or i find them on online thrifting sites like Reddit or depop or macari random places like that those are definitely my top places to find these cardigans and I love them so much. This is the one that actually kicked off my collection. I remember seeing it at the thrift store. I'm pretty sure it was like five dollars. I saw it and I don't know. I just fell in love with it and I wanted it so bad. I had no idea where I was gonna wear this to but I just knew I wanted it and ever since then I have been so obsessed with finding these type of cardigans. So yeah this is my first one. I'm literally just gonna blind dive and pick one up. Oh my gosh wait no wait Okay, I think that actually that was my second one. I want to say this one is my actual very first one. Oh my God, I don't even know my order of cardigans. I'm so sorry, cardigans. I got them all mixed up. This one is actually my very first one. It's a cardigan of all cats. Look at it. It's a very cat lady cardigan, as you can tell. There's bells. Oh yeah, it's on this little cat's collar. There's a cat also on the very back and it says a cat is a cat. Don't know what that means, but I love it so much. This one is actually from the brand The Quacker Factory. The bows are 3D. I love them so much. So this is my very first one actually. And then I think once I got my bunny one, that's when I said, I love these cardigans. I'm starting a collection. Mm -hmm. This one's just a basic floral. This one's not so obnoxious in your face. Little flower print, little pixelated plain on the back. The buttons in the front are flowers. And you'd be surprised, this kind of seems like a cardigan that would be trending like to this day. This was actually from the brand called Back to Back. Here's another cardigan. It has like a nice rose pattern on the front and it has this all over pattern on the back. It's definitely missing like three buttons. <laughs> this definitely gives me Mr. Rogers vibes if he was into hot pink rose patterned cardigan. This next one I wanted to include, it's not technically a cardigan because it's more of a vest because the sleeves are cut off. This one I actually got on Thread Up, and it is a turquoise cow print cardigan. Cardigan vest? Cardigan vest, yeah. It has these beaded buttons on the front and then a beaded fringe all along the hem of the vest. This is the way I could describe part of my style is if it's obnoxious, I want it. This one's from the brand Barrett. I do have a lot of storybook knits and I have a lot of Barrett. This is an all over butterfly knit pattern. Design, design. Okay, all over butterfly knit design, but what's really cool and what I really like about this one is that the sleeves are mesh. As you can see, it's uh, a little bit looser. It's not as tight. I don't really know knit or crochet terms, so I'm so sorry, but to me, as someone that's in the other realm of fashion, this is like like kind of a mesh type of crochet knit. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, like how cool is that? It's so cool. 
cool. The buttons for this one are little flowers. And this one is also a storybook knit cardigan. While I'm buttoning this up, the reason why I love these cardigans is because they're just so unique. And I've never seen one of the same cardigan yet. And I just think that they're just so adorable. There's something so cute about them. Most people think that they're pretty ugly or they're just too much. But I absolutely love them. I think they're so freaking cute. And I just love that they have stories. I'm trying to button this one up, but the stars are really pointy and they hurt. This one is one of my newer cardigans that I got recently. And it is sheep jumping over the moon. So this one is more of a felt wool type of cardigan. It's not like your usual knits that I have. It's so cute because it tells a story. As I was mentioning earlier, the buttons are stars. There's nothing really on the back except for some stars and checkered hem all around. Believe it or not, I actually have some simpler ones. I don't know what to tell you. There's no cats or dogs or jumping sheep, but this one's still like a nice basic one. I liked it because of the color. We're doing another vest. This one actually has embroidery on it. I like this one because of the colors, like a nice teal purple situation going on and the design is just pretty cool. What's next? I have a Valentine's Day one. It's a bunch of hearts on a zebra design. The buttons are big hearts heart buttons and then on the hem it has little dangly heart beads it's so precious i actually have another one with cats this one has rainbow cats on it so there's like a zebra cat an orange cat a green cat yellow cat well you guys can tell your colors there's nothing really on the back except for just one rainbow paw print so this one's not really like a grandma cardigan but it is one of my cardigans might as well just include it in here anyways this one i actually got from hot topic there's just like a little embroidery there and then some embroidery on the side as well this is definitely a very interesting style of cardigan. It's not like my others because it just has a different type of bell sleeve to it and I thought it was really interesting. It's just so pretty. It kind of reminds me of doilies, like little napkins with a little embroidery. This one is from Storybook Knits and the gems and the rhinestones are bees, little bumblebees and then they have flowers and just butterfly embroidery and it's just so precious. This is a Henley sweater but it definitely fits the vibes because it's Storybook Knits so I'm going to include it. It's so cute. It's a doggy. What are these called? St. Bernard dog? It's just adorable. Like, look at it. Tell me you don't love it. It's so cute. Oh, and then the sleeve has a little pocket right here. Oh, amazing. Earth dropped off our food. Earth! And speaking of dogs, I have another Barrett cardigan. <laughs> it has a bunch of dog bones and a bunch of dogs. We got a little poodle, a Doberman, a shepherd dog, a beagle. Look at me with my dog knowledge. Plenty of dogs. And then, what are you? Oh my God, what are you? And then we got a schnauzer on the back. I don't know if you could tell, but like these beads dangle. This is why I love these cardigans because the attention to detail. They really did all this beading and all this embroidery and all this printing and design for this cardigan. Like, hello? We have another storybook knits one. This one has lace all around the collar. It's just giving off very Grandma Barbie energy right now, and I am here for it. And if there was a cardigan to represent me, it would probably be this one because it is pink and black. This cardigan is just all trimmed with black lace even on the bottom and then it has little butterflies and then the buttons are pink butterflies and black roses. That's why I'm saying like if there was a cardigan that best describes me it would be this one. This one's from Storybook Knits as well. I'm telling you, I have so many Storybook Knits cardigans. This cardigan is my most recent thrifted, like in-store thrifted cardigan. And it is a Christmas themed one. This one's a little harder to tell for the designs, but it is definitely Christmas themed because we got some jingle bells. I believe this is a nutcracker. You can't really tell, but I'm assuming it's a nutcracker. We have a stocking here, more ornaments. What are you? What is that? A rocking horse? I think it's a rocking horse. What is that? I have no idea what these designs are, but yeah, they're Christmas designs. This is from the brand Heirloom Collectible. This is one of the fun ones that I have. This is a Noah's Ark themed cardigan. <laughs> when I saw it on the thread up, I was so happy. I just needed it so bad. This is from Storybook Knits, obviously. This is my Christian cardigan here. You got Noah's Ark, and then are these rabbits? I think they're rabbits. We got zebras, we got little piggies down here. Oh my God, you're so cute. As you can tell, the buttons are little Noah's Arks. 
Hello, that is so freaking cute. And then I believe here on the side we have donkey or a llama. What are you? Um, you are, I think you're a camel. And then on the back, the lions here, so adorable. Can't forget the flamingos with beaks that look like cashews. I should honestly wear it to church one of these days. I also have a short sleeve cardigan. As you can see, the roses are 3D, they pop out. And what I really love is that the tassels, they are leaves like little vines with little leaves on them and of course this is from storybook notes we cannot forget these back here this one is actually my most recent one it's not a vintage one my sister actually got this for me for christmas this year it's from the brand i don't know how to pronounce this but i'm gonna try orgo bulik she got it on Etsy and it's so adorable. It's the 3D flowers. I know everyone has been seeing this all over Etsy. Kind of matches my outfit at this very moment. I saved the best for last. This is my all-time favorite one. I got this one off of Freda. And it is this rainbow pastel butterfly cardigan. Need I say more? It has little sparkle beads on it. And then the detail is just so... I just love anything that's rainbow pastel, to be honest. All right, my rosebuds, so that is it for my closet tour today for my quirky cardigan section. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm thinking of either doing a jewelry tour or maybe a pants tour, maybe a skirts tour. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I am active on all the other platforms, so you can find me at The Nava Rose on Instagram and Twitter and obviously YouTube. And then on TikTok, you can find me at the dot Nava Rose. So come say hi. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!